Hey guys, good evening. Hiya. So, today this is day six of the seven day Align with Christ challenge. Quite sad, it's a penultimate day, which means tomorrow is the last day. Boo. <laughs> um, I know, but hey, the great thing about being a Christian is every day is a day with Christ, right? Yeah. So today the focus was all about forgiveness, which is always an interesting subject to dwell into. Um, so, you know, we did the usual, we read through all of the scriptures and we thought we'd share a few thoughts with you about what, how we found it and yeah, so we hope you enjoy it. So, what was your overall feeling about this, Kate? What did you think? Um, well, it's definitely opened some doors for me. <laughs> yeah? Um, I had quite a few realisations. Okay, such as? <laughs> such as, there's one verse that says, Stop being bitter and angry with others. Don't yell at one another or curse each other or ever be rude. Instead, be kind and merciful and forgive others just as God forgave you because of Christ. Ephesians 4, 31, 32. Now, when I'm angry, I am bitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do yell. Happens to the best of us. And I am rude. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Tandu. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, so I just realised that, yeah, when I'm angry, I'm quite a few of those things. And, like, um, I need to change that. <laughs> um, I do need to be more kind and merciful. Um... Another, another verse I also liked, which um, I related to was, you will keep your friends if you forgive them. You will lose your friends if you keep talking about what they did wrong. Pro Proverbs 17.9. Wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what an awesome verse. It yeah. is, definitely. <clears throat> and that reminds me actually um, about my relationship with Andrew. Um, because basically when Andrew does something wrong, I find it very hard to let it go and I keep going on and on and on at him. Um, and he keeps saying that if, like, I need to stop because I'm <laughs> going on at him. <laughs> um, yeah. so, um, if I want to keep him, I need to forgive him when he does wrong because I don't want to lose him. <laughs> that works both ways, you know, so, you know, yeah. Um, what did you learn? Um, well, <clears throat> a few things really. I mean, uh, the things that I really enjoyed was, uh, the verse I really enjoyed was the first one actually. As he hung on the cross and Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke twenty three thirty four. Mm. And, you know, when we were reading this today, um, you know, I sort of turned to Katie and I said, that verse is amazing. I've never stopped to just think about those few words before mm. where... After all the torture that Jesus had just gone through, after all the pain that he's in still, he's got nails in his hands and his feet, you know, he's been beaten, kicked, punched, spat on, you know, every horrible thing you could think of. And any regular human, you can imagine, we probably think like, you know, I'm not a big fan of these people right now, right? But Jesus, the first thing he does once it's all over, once he's up there on that cross, is to say, I forgive you, or, you know, Father, please forgive them. And that's just... It's just mind blowing to me. I'm like, whoa! It's godly. <laughs> yeah, and it's just so inspiring. And mm. I just, uh, I hope that I can, you know, just even be a, a, an inch like that it would be amazing. Not that I'm a bitter person, but just getting better at just, you know, for, forgiving past experiences and stuff like that in the way that Jesus did, because that's really opened my eyes. And Definitely. it's, I'm just, I'm almost speechless. Really, it's just mm. really, really completely and utterly over my eyes mm. Mm -hmm. but what i learned today is no matter how many mistakes we make jesus will always forgive us and one more verse that i want to mention is do your best to live in peace with everyone romans twelve eighteen. um andrew and i have been sending messages to people that we've hurt and he has hurt us the past couple of days yeah Yep. And personally for me, that's been really 
um, freeing for me. Um, I've been, I'm now in peace with a few people now, which is great. Um, I feel freer. I feel happier. Amen. How do you feel? Yeah, you know, when I first did it, um, I was I was really really scared to be honest with you. I kind of mm. didn't really want to do it um, for fear of just what might come of it. Rejection. Uh, rejection and and just fear of maybe not wanting to get into an argument but then I thought actually you know I'm doing this not just for me but I'm doing it for God I'm doing it for mm. Jesus you know and I'm f and again go back to that verse if he can forgive some people for torturing him and hitting him then you know I'm sure I can forgive the person that I forgave and I did it for me and so it felt so uplifting after I did it I felt like a massive weight had been lifted off my shoulders mm. and you know I haven't even thought about it for the last few days in terms of the worry. I've just felt, you know what, I'm glad that I did it. So it was a good experience all in all. I'm glad. Yeah, me too. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that the people you, that you messaged actually got back to you. I mean, I didn't get a response, but that's not why I did it. I didn't do it to get a reply. Well, thanks again for joining, guys. Thank you again one more time to Kian and Kyle. And thank you both to, to you guys, mm. both um, Kian and Kyle for the lovely comments and to everyone else that's commented on our videos it is much appreciated and we love hearing from you and um you know um uh, chatting to you and everything so thank you so much for your feedback and, and and comments it's been really lovely and i hope you're all enjoying the challenge as well and we look forward to the the last day of it uh, tomorrow so god bless guys and we'll see you soon bye